What's up, you guys? I'm back with another fashion finesse. If you read the title, you already know what's up. First, I just want to give a shout out to Kamani Stevenson. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. I'm going to leave her YouTube channel in the description below. Definitely check her out. She has some dope DIYs. The homegirl is really talented. Okay, so let's get into the video. My blanket came already folded in half, so I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm taking the top that fits the way I like, and I'm just going to use that to trace out the pattern to make this. And I'm just going to cut all the way around till I cut out the shape of my top. And once you do that, you should really have something like this. And now I'm going to use my sport bra just to cut out the um, V shape at the top. Um, I didn't have an exact top to use to make this so I kind of had to do what I gotta do but yes yeah, so you just want to cut that V shape at the top and you should have something like this now we're just going to sew the um, side and that top strap together make sure the right side is facing each other and I'm just doing a regular straight stitch and I'm gonna just let y'all know this is messy this blanket um, sheds everywhere makes a big mess but it's so worth it though so yeah I'm just sewing the strap part together and once you do that, you should have something like this. I didn't do any hem into the bottom, but you can if you want to. Now we're going to work on the skirt. I'm just going to use the skirt that fits the way I like. And I'm just using that to trace out the pattern. I um, put the measure tape measurement down because I know my hip is always wider than my waist. So I was using that as a guide. So once you cut it all out, you should have something like this. So you're just going to sew the sides together. Remember, right side facing each other. And I'm doing a straight stitch all the way around. I tried to pin it down, but it was kind of hard to find the pins at times. So you just really want to be careful. Kind of take your time when doing this. But yeah, so once you get done sewing, you should have something like this. Now I'm going to work on the bralette. I'm just using a top that I made a while back just to trace out the pattern. Um, yeah, you just want to cut it all the way around. You want to make sure that this um, triangle that you're cutting fits around your um, chest. And I ended up cutting out two pieces. Now to make the straps that are going around the back, I'm using the, um, the hem of the blanket and I'm just cutting out the extra fabric and trying to make it as neat as possible. So I cut out one for the back and one for the straps. Now I'm taking my longest piece. This is the piece I'm gonna tie around my back. And you wanna find the middle because this is gonna help you know where to place your triangle pieces and I'm just gonna line them up using that middle point as my guide you really want this to be perfect and even on both sides so you definitely want to try this on because yeah you want to see perfect so now I'm just gonna pin it down and you're gonna um, do the same thing to the other triangle piece so you should really have something like this okay and now we're gonna add the straps and this is what's gonna be tied around your neck and I'm just gonna pin that down and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side like this and that is how it looks once it got sewn easy peasy so cute now let's move on to the shorts um, I just took a pair of shorts that I like the way it fits and I'm gonna use that to trace out the pattern so you just want to lay it down um just remember to keep um well leave space for room al seam allowance I say room allowance seam allowance and I ended up cutting out four pieces. And now you just want to take two of your pieces, line, it up, line them up together and pin. So you're gonna have something like this. Okay, now you just really want to sew it down. Um, I'm just doing a straight stitch all the way down. And you're gonna do the same thing to your other piece. Okay, so you really should have something like this. Now you're gonna take both pieces and put them together, right side facing each other. You want to align everything perfectly, make sure everything is even. And you're gonna pin the side, the crouch area, and the other side. And you're just gonna sew that down. And I'm just doing a straight stitch. So once you get done sewing, you want to, um, if you wanted to add a waistband, this is how to add it. I did not add my waistband, but you just want to get a long piece of fabric and you're just going to basically line it up all the way around your pants and so that is it but i didn't do that i didn't feel like i needed to so i just left mine the way it is and that's it now to make my jacket um i'm using this jacket right here and i'm just tracing out the pattern you do not want to trace out the sleeves you kind of want to do that separately so right now i'm just um cutting it out i've already traced out one you need four of these pieces once you cut all them out, you're just going to line them up together, 
two of it is for the back and the other two is for the front so kind of like this and you want to make sure you don't sew the part where the sleeves are going you just want to sew the back side and all the way down and that is what i'm doing right now just doing a um straight stitch all the way down nothing fancy i didn't even go back in to do a zigzag stitch but yeah so it looks like that now i'm adding my two front pieces you just want to line them up sleeve the sleeve um yeah and you're going to sew around the top and also on the side do not sew the opening of your sleeves because then you're going to mess it all up but yeah so once you sew everything down you should really have something like this and then we're going to add our sleeves to it let's go make the sleeve to make the sleeves i'm just using my jacket and i'm cutting out the shape of the sleeves because i want it to be exactly the same so um, I'm just going to cut that out. And you will need um, four pieces, okay? You're going to need four together. So um, this is how it looks so far. I got two pieces together. And you're just going to sew the bottom part and the top part. And I'm just doing a straight stitch. Do not sew the opening part of your sleeve. You should have something like this. You should still be able to fit your um, arms through it. So, yeah. So once you got all your sleeves sewn down, now it's time to add it to your jacket. It's easier to do it from the inside out. Do not turn your jacket and sleeve inside out, but um, do it from the inside. You'll see. Okay, so I'm just lining up the edge of my sleeve to the edge of my sleeve opening. And I'm going to pin it all the way around. And you're going to do the same thing to the other sleeve. And this just makes it easier and just it just looks better but yeah so once you do that you're going to sew it down okay so i'm just doing a straight stitch all the way around i didn't really need to do a zigzag stitch the fabric held together pretty good so once you sew both sleeves down you're basically done and boom that is how it turned out you guys i was so excited about this because it turned out so good I cannot believe this is a blanket. It is so comfortable and so cozy. And this is the shorts. Super cute, super simple, and easy to make. Save your money and go get you a blanket. I was able to make multiple different pieces from this. So I just, I just love it. I was able to create another look by just taking a piece of fabric and tying a knot in the front. And boom, you have a whole nother top. Like, what? You guys, I'm just so excited right now. I'm done. I'm done talking. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what? Peace. I'm out.